And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some casino for our second meme tier Monday deck. It's been a while since we've played casino. We're going to be playing it over just in normal today. We got a donation to play it again for a donation deck for meme tier Monday. And we're going to have some fun. So if you haven't seen this deck before, basically what it's about is about drawing tons of cards. You can see a lot of these things in here, draw cards. And um, and so we're going to rifle through our deck. We even have like the Brash Gambler. Because we're, we're going to be a Twisted Fate deck. We want, to, we want to draw tons of cards with our Twisted Fate, get our Twisted Fate leveled up, everything like that. Now we also have Jinx in here. Um, because we, we, besides drawing a lot of cards, we also can empty our hand pretty fast if, if we don't have necessarily the, the card draw stuff because we have a lot of discard in here as well. So we're like drawing, discarding, and just rifling through a ton of cards. So we do have the ability to empty our hand. Um, we even have thing like Augmented Experimenter that empties our hand immediately by itself. Um, but even like Brash Gambler discards too just right away whenever you play that. And so we can empty, we can also empty our hand because we just rifle through and, and just use a lot of cards. And then whenever we do have a leveled up Jinx, then it, it again gets us even more card draw. We draw an additional card every single turn. So the way that we win is just basically by sheer card advantage and just by uh, having a ton more cards than our opponent throughout the entirety of the game and try to get both of our champions leveled up. Our champions are both very powerful. And get out fast. You can see... <laughs> see this curve you know 12 cards that cost one a couple that cost zero um you know we can get out fast as well okay so here we go let's let's uh play some casino and let's see how we do okay so you want so the burn most most all the burn spells should be going face with this deck makes sense we got our jinx board let's see so i don't Okay, so we have the Gambler that discards the Flame Chompers. Um, this hand's just not bad. I kind of don't mind it. We can save up some spell mana in the middle turns. All right, gonna play the Pool Shark here. I think turn three, we probably draw something that we can play for less mana. I'm gonna just play one Pool Shark. I'm not gonna play both. I don't need two Fleeting cards right now. You want Block Shark? Ooh, they don't want to block. <laughs> they don't want to trade their Shark. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the two pool sharks now. We get the two fleeting cards. We can have. Um, I could block that. Nah. Nah. I'll hold on to one one of the pool sharks. So basically I'm thinking the Brash Gambler can be in play first before Twisted Fates. And whenever we... I knew I should have blocked that. And whenever we attack and get the Fleeting cards. Um, you yeah, know, then that will help level up our Twisted Fate. Give us some Always have a backup plan. No, Jinx. But we got a Flame Chomper, so we get, we get another free Flame Chompers, because... Uh, with fleeting cards, you do, do, do just discard them at the end of the turn. Alright, so one Jinx gone. Then this turn, we're going Pool Shark and Twisted Fate. And honestly, I should... The shadows take form. A game. Go on, then. I feel like they're going to play another... Okay, never mind, they're not. I'm gonna say I feel like they're gonna play another uh, ephemeral. I know I could have I could have red carded that, but I hope they play another ephemeral. Never lost a fair Honestly, we should probably be playing the pick a card this turn. Also, okay, never mind. Not playing pick a card. I'm 
is up for a round or two. All right, get a gold card. Get rid of a blocker. Everyone's a god. Them all being two ones, I don't really need to throw away the flame chompers. Something up my sleeve. And I don't, I don't really care about these one ones and everything. But they're saplings. Looks like my opponent doesn't really care about them either. I'm thinking about Mystic Shotting this Callista. <clears throat> Think about doing that. No. Don't. Don't kill my Twisted Fate. Don't kill my Twisted Fate. If it's at four, I don't like that fearsome that, that card has. Return to us. <laughs> okay, well, they have returned. I found a jinx, that's six. <laughs> Seven. And number eight. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. We'll give him Twisted Fate. So I can go Poro Cannon and get a blue card, but that means I'd have to discard either Jinx or Get Excited. I'm not going to discard Get Excited. So we could discard Jinx. That's fine. <clears throat> we don't necessarily need Jinx this game. Soak it in. Let's do blue card. Okay. Let's attack. 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 Cool. I like burst speed cards that I can play during combat. This gives me blue card, red card. Of course, this would be them going down to negative one. So they gotta do something first. Then, you know, we have burn spell going upstairs. This is them going to zero. We will accept zero. All right, so there we go. So that's, that's the strength of Casino. You just go through your deck and rifle through and you have so many cards and uh, turn that into a victory. <laughs> Ooh. Reckoning is really good against us. As you saw like that last game, we just play a whole bunch of little things. Okay, I definitely always gonna keep like one, at least one thing to discard. Um, Mystic Shot's actually, like, you know, they're gonna play like the 5-1, five 5-1 one, five one Challenger. I wanna Mystic Shot that thing. Okay, so I'm gonna lead with the Astute Academic so that it will be a 3-2 while attacking this turn. So 
So that's the wrong play by them. That that should they should frostbite my Zonite Urchin. I'm not sure if I want to play the Pool Shark or not. Sure. I really hope that's not Twisted Fate on top. But they they should frostbite the Zonite Urchin and then block a Stude Academic, right? So they just did it the wrong way. They they frostbited a Stude Academic, which is the better card, and then blocked the two one. Should frostbite the two one and block there. All right, well, completely rewarded. Completely rewarded. Anything else? <laughs> so we attack for six. Attack for seven. Let's play that jury rig. Love it. Because <clears throat> that's what I was worried about with Jinx. I didn't really want to play Jinx without being leveled up. I didn't want them to go. Um, yeah, they can challenge any of these things. I didn't want them to brittle steel, coaling strike, Jinx. I was worried about that. worked out. That worked out perfectly. Okay. So that's what our casino deck can do. It can, it can go really wide, really fast. Everything worked out really well with that game. Okay. I like this hand. We'll keep it. I really like these Zonite Urchins and some treasures. I think they're really powerful. So, Anivia, Trindamir, Callista. I don't know if I've played against that combination before. That egg. Ooh. Did it move? That card's good against Zonite Urchin. You stand on cold shots. Achilles, where are you? Wow. I, just, I don't really love Daring Poro, but I guess maybe I should just be going for Daring Poro, I guess. Hmm. I don't love Daring Poro. Yeah, Urchin's just not doing anything. We play one Daring Poro, we can discard the other Daring Poro to the dredger. Question is, is do you think that deep is a good counter for Feel the Rush? And I suppose so. I don't really need that astute academic. I think so. So I think deep's faster. I think so. Deal me in. Something for all. Yeah, so I think so. I was tr I'm try trying to think of like how like that those games play out because I, I don't really play a whole lot of those decks, but I remember playing deep the other the other day whenever we did play deep. I think I remember doing well um, against those kind of decks. So yeah, I think so. You know, like the Nautilus Champion spell is of course amazing. Um, with the Riptide, that card's amazing against like Trindamir. Our strength is yours. We got 14. Trying the high stakes table, huh? 
Our banner will lead the way! Okay, we're gonna just go right to attacks. Challenge that over there. Ooh, got a Jinx. We'll get a lot of damage in on them, and you know, basically be setting up these and get excited. So I guess I do have two get excited. Could fire those off and try to kill them, or I could play Jinx. Gotta trust your instincts. There we go. Let's get excited. All right. <laughs> Blowing everything up, but it's gonna cost you everything. You can you can blow everything up. You can destroy my whole board, but it will cost you everything. Ooh, Anivia control. This is definitely a, a real tough matchup for Casino. Because, you know, of course we go wide and they're going to be going Avalanche, Withering Whale, all that kind of stuff. And Nivea attack. So, let's see. Poro Cannon doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to mulligan that. And I like the Sump Dredger and I like the Brash Gambler. I like both of those with the discard. Um, hope they don't kill my Brash Gambler right away. Jinx is also good. Now we need to find things to discard for these other cards. So if we do win this one, and that means we'll be 4-0, then we're going to be taking this over to ranked. That's what we always do with our meme tier decks whenever. We do play them in normal, because we, we want them to see a little bit more success, you know, and, and everything. But if we uh, do end up 4-0, and oh, that means they're doing good, and they're too good for normal, and then we go take it over to Master's rank. Watch this. Oh no, Twisted Fate. Best card, but I'm gonna have to just get rid of that. Alright, let's get some treasure in play. Doesn't die to Avalanche. That's good news, and that's something that I, I like that these other cards don't die to Avalanche. And also that <clears throat> the first tournament video, I feel bad about that one. That was definitely my worst tournament video, also. Like a I got better just with everything afterwards. It was a good learning experience. I'm playing Jinx this turn. I'd rather Jinx get vengeanced. Or avalanched. <clears throat> um... But I definitely kind of kind of learned a lot about like the tournament process of like, you know, how to write stuff down and everything. I didn't do a good job of that the first game. I really didn't. I, I really didn't do a, a great job that first match. I was kind of, you know, nervous and all that kind of stuff, and didn't play that first one that well. I guess they're gonna be able to vengeance my brash gambler. So I could I could lead with the one drop. Don't worry, I've read all about this. What will you have? I'm Watch your step. So now they, they can't kill my Brash Gambler before I attack with it. All right, see a big fan of mine. Just as I Something up my sleeve. Okay, I can just play these two. Like, gotcha on this Conley Tavern Keeper isn't bad. It's not a bad gotcha. The 
So even though they keep on clearing our stuff, we're going to keep on trying to draw more cards. Let's see what they do. Alright, they're going to let me just go to my turn and attack. It's pretty nice of them. Surprise, surprise. Gives me to five on Twisted Fate. gonna cast these two. I don't want to... I don't really want another Brash Gambler in play right now, and... I don't know, I guess I could play Jinx. Yeah, maybe I play Jinx. Jinx doesn't do a whole lot until our hand's empty anyway. I just, I'm worried about Ruination. Something ancient. My card's great. I wish I would have passed. I would I'd prefer to not have Jinx in them and they not have Anivia in play. You can probably see why this is a tough matchup. So they're passing again. <laughs> yeah, Zombie Anivia is one of my least favorite decks to play against. It's so it's so difficult to play against. It's it's really good. It's really strong. I don't really see how this is going to end up as a win for us. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. I was figuring you just didn't have a third Nocturne. There you go. Good girl. I guess I should have discarded Augmented Experimenter, because two Augmented Experimenters don't do anything. Yeah. GG's, three and one. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Okay, there we go. Better matchup. Not our worst possible matchup, <laughs> like the Anivia deck is. That is our worst possible matchup. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of the Poro Cannon and. Oh, let's get rid of Gotcha. We've got the second Brash Gambler. Yeah, this is just the dream matchup for the Anivia opponent. So a good time for the pool shark because either we can either we get a cool spell that we can play, or if not, we just discard some treasure. Thought I urchin's a cool spell we can play. Where do you stand on cold shots? Um. <laughs> I 
All right, this gives me the opportunity to get a fleeting card for the Brash Gambler. All in, baby. And so I was thinking that the the Brash Gambler could attack and give we get two fleeting cards for the other Brash Gambler. Now I guess they're going to be a, like a Will of Ionia deck, and yeah, all the stun and Will of Ionia, like Will of Ionia bouncing Brash Gambler. That doesn't seem ideal. That's such a waste of the Steel Tempest. They should not play that Steel Tempest right there. That is a very bad Steel Tempest. No going back. We play in build rules, son. Quick as the blade. So I'm glad they didn't have Will of Ionia for my Brash Gambler. This might I'm not done. All right, we're just going to open attack before they stun the Gambler. I guess I could. Eh, I guess I could play the other Gambler. Also, probably not going to stun both of a, both the things, especially if we drawing this flame chompers that can challenge. You know, like Yone is a turn off, right? Like they, they don't have Yone mana. Always have a backup plan. Well, that went pretty well. Your attack is obvious. They killed two one twos, but we just replace them with one ones. I go where the road takes me. Awkward pick a card. I face my fate, your turn. I cannot cast it. Terrain here is opinionated. Nah. Ah, should have cast it. Can I empty my entire hand? That's the main question. No, probably not. No, definitely not. Okay, let's go some treasure, discard this thing. Zonai Urchin, discard this thing. Ooh. Now we talking? Deal me in. Just put the jinx back. I am going through the draw lots of cards phase. No. I was gonna draw lots of cards though. Okay, so I can... I guess I'm pretty close to killing them. I'm always up for a round or two. Gold card this Yasuo. And I guess I could have these two get excited. 
It's just a go after them, but I could also get excited at Yasuo. Blood for no one gets in my way. Do you kind of wonder if that's just their plan? Stack in the yard. They're just going to spend their mana re replaying Katarina. Nope. They're going to respend their mana playing Little Miami. Alright, well, I'm going to kill that. I want to keep Twisted Fate alive. Never lost a fair game or played one. All right, maybe I should just be attacking, but I'm being a little greedy here, taking this out. You know, they could go Mina Swift Foot, bounce three things, but I, I feel like we're still fine against Mina Swift Foot. Steel barrier. Lady Luck is smiling. Mm. Only have five mana left. Like this has to be game. Just I don't I don't really know of any one card they can have that saves them. Not it. All right, and GGs. We are four and one. Always have a backup plan. Here we go. It was in the car. So yeah, as long as you dodge the Anivia deck, um, yeah, as long as you dodge that deck, we did, it's not just only Freljord Shadow Isles decks, we did be a different Freljord Shadow Isles deck, but the Anivia one's just really tough. Um, but yeah, this one's, this deck's pretty, pretty fun to play, pretty serious, you get to go real wide, super fast, and you just have tons of card advantage, so you just get to throw away cards. And if, if that's something you enjoy doing, just throwing away cards, because they don't matter, um, yeah, give this one a try. I have, like, one thing I noticed, like, with this deck before is that Jinx isn't always the best. As we saw there, like, we just never had an empty hand. It, it can actually be difficult to get an empty hand to level up Jinx. And so that's something that I've thought about with this deck before is, like, maybe not three Jinx and maybe playing some number of Vi, where Vi is just a real, you know, Vi is just an awesome champion at controlling the board and everything. Um, heck, I don't know. I could see, like, Misfortune and other stuff like that, too. But I, I think that Jinx does fit fit well here, though. Like, the 4-3 quick attack is pretty good. And the reason the reason why that 3 Jinx is good is basically because of the champion spell. I think that's, that's like, a really big strength of playing 3 Jinx instead of going just a couple of Jinx and, like, a Vi is that, that get excited champion spell is really valuable. And you, you can see that. Like, we're, we just get lots of early damage in with all of these aggro things and then you have your mystic shots and your get excited that uh finish the game going upstairs going face um so there we go that's that's some casino fun times with this deck and with drawing lots of cards those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video